Hi, I'm Dana from DeCray School of Art, and tonight we're here at our 35th annual high school art show, and I'm here with Peter Ambush, who is one of our instructors. Peter, I see you've been demonstrating this piece, which is stunningly beautiful. Thank you. Can you tell me, I was watching how you were doing this, can you tell me how you do this? Because I don't see much drawing. It's all magic. Um, <laughs> um, um, main, mainly I'm starting with a sketch and then I'm just airbrushing. So I'm using a tool that uh, airbrushes ink. I'm using ink on this one. Um, the, uh, there's a compressor. It's hooked to a compressor. It pushes the ink out onto the board. And I'm not touching the board. I'm about you know, an inch away uh, or so. And um, by the airbrush atomizing the paint, it leaves an impression like that. You know, so I mean, I'm, I'm painting, but I'm painting with air. The amazing part about it, it is so beautiful, the 3D effect that, you, that, that, that comes out in what you're doing. But what astounds me is your ability to actually do it as you go. There's no guidance. You're just taking it straight. You're doing this strictly by eye, correct? Yes, yes. I mean, as long as I have, like, the basic road map, I mean, as far as the sketch lines, um, very minimal uh, lines here uh, over the whole thing, I'm just going in and doing the values. I'm starting from light, and I'm going down to dark. You know, so I'm working from light to dark. Um, in my in the value range, and uh, and then once I get the air, uh, once I get the painting done, um, or or get the the gradations of all the values on there, then I go back in and I erase out. So I'm erasing out the highlights. So some of the areas here that are lighter are just erased out with a pencil eraser. Oh, fantastic! Are you going to do color over this? Or are you going to keep this black and white? It's going to be mostly black and white, but there will be color inside the glasses. This will be kind of like a sky. Uh, uh, with a sun, uh, with a sun shining through uh, the Earth. There's an uh, a image here that I have of the Earth and the Moon, and so these will be in color. And then her hair will go to dark. All this will be dark, a part of her dress, and then that'll be uh, kind of like outer space. You know. So. What made you choose this model to work with? I was looking for photographs uh, of uh, women with sunglasses. Uh, I, I got the photograph from a. Uh, uh, photography website, uh, uh, stock photography, mm -hmm. and uh, I saw the image and I liked it and then I, I did some work in Photoshop uh, to kind of get like the earth and the moon because that wasn't all, that wasn't there so I added that on there and then, um, and then I transferred onto the board and then started airbrushing. As an airbrush artist who's been doing this for many years and you have beautiful pieces Thank behind you, you. you, how long did it take you to feel confident about what you were doing and how long did it really take you to feel like you really were an artist? Hmm, that's a hard question. Um, I think later on, I mean, probably, I always knew that I was good at art. Um, I probably didn't, it probably didn't take hold until later on after, actually after going to art school, uh, uh, by, you know, studying and learning more about my craft and then just using it. I've been airbrushing for about 24 years. Um, it's, it, hasn't, it hasn't been really until the last maybe five or six years that I've gotten to a point where I'm real comfortable with it and I, and I feel like uh, I'm very good at it. Did you study anatomy or portraiture in, 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 in conjunction with doing the airbrush or did you start doing the airbrush? Well, I had anatomy, I had uh, portraiture in, in college, um, but uh, the, it really depends. I mean, with the airbrush, I mean, it's learning the tool itself. You know, I mean, uh, with the anatomy, I mean, all that is, is, is good and everything like that, but you have to learn what you're using and how to use it. You know, so, um, you know, by practicing and just doing it all the time, I, got, I get better at it, you know. And I'm still not as good as I could be. Can you show <laughs> me a little bit about how you're doing what you're doing? Yeah. Because I just was seeing just what you're doing with the lips is amazing how, how quickly it goes. Yeah, and, and it's really, you know, you really can't see it so much, you know, when it comes out. Um, but um, like I said, you know, this trick, uh, this airbrush, I can either do a thin line, and I can even do a thinner line like that, you know, or I can do a thick line, you know, a heavier spray. And this is basically how the airbrush works. And I can use any kind of liquid paint in there. So like I said before, I, I'm using ink now. Uh, I can use an acrylic or watercolor, oil. Um, can, you, can you do the color on top of the, on top of colors? You know, a cer certain art mediums you can do that and other mediums you can't. How does that, how does it work with airbrush? Well, as, as long as it's pretty much close to the same kind of, uh, well, actually I've done, 
uh, an, under, uh, an underpainting in acrylic and then oil I uh, use it in my airbrush on top. You know, I've done that before. So, I mean, I, could, I that noticed that some of your pieces were almost like mixed media. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes, you know, I do other things. Um, well, I've done uh, I've done other work for uh, the news uh, for Star Ledger newspaper where I've combined different mediums. So I do like maybe a color pencil underdrawing and then acrylic on top, and then uh, then I erase out the highlights and then use color pencil on top of that. So that's that's definitely mixed media. Um, so it really depends on what I'm using and, and and pretty much with the airbrush, I mean it's fairly compatible. You know, pretty much whatever I use on top of it is fairly compatible. And you started this piece tonight, so about how long did it take you? Do you do, will you finish this piece tonight? Is it a couple of hours to just get one of these things completed? Um, they usually range in between 15 to 20 hours, you know, depending on how much detail. I mean, if I want more detail, you know, it can go up from 20 to 30 hours, you know, but it really depends on the size, um, how much detail. Um, this, I probably only spent maybe all together, maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe an hour on it, you know, because I stopped and talked to people, <laughs> you know. You've been but, doing that all night. Yeah, I've been doing that all night. So, I mean, really, I probably have another, I would probably say 10 for this one, 10 hours. Well, thank you, Peter, so much for coming out tonight and demonstrating for our school. Um, and thank you so much for the gift that you are to Ducre. You're welcome. This thank is you. Dana with Peter Ambush at Ducre School of Art.